Hello Gumpla fans, Chitaro speaking. This is the unboxing of the SDG Generation F number 59 Crossbone Gundam X1 from the Crossbone Manga series. Um, this is a series that I have not finished. I've only read like the first like four or five, um, I guess, um, chapters or something like that. So I'm not, I haven't been too much into it, but I really did enjoy it and I really like the design. But I got this for another reason, which you'll find out about later. So, to around the box, it says S Crossbone Gundam X1, number 59, Crossbone Gundam X1. Or here, you see that it's from the G Generation F, which is, I guess, an SD game. You have a logo here. And this was made in 2001. It has one main China, some a lot of Japanese, and Bandai, of course. At the bottom, we have Crossbone. Same thing, little picture, pretty nice picture, too. On the other side, we have Choking Hazard, blah, 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 blah. So you can't see any details. It sucks, because I really want to see it. G Generation F, same thing on the top. And on the other side, we have this, the Sand Buster and the Flexible Thrust Binder. So his gun and his uh, and his uh, binders, and he also comes with a sword, which we'll see. We have let's see, polypropylene, I guess. Uh, I'm not seeing too many plastics on on here. Uh, I don't know. And um, over here we have the barco with 400 yen as the original price. I got this at Robots for Less for a very good price. That, and I was already over the 100 mark. So um, I put this in because again I wanted it for a project. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. And as you can tell, I already unbagged this just to make it easier on us. But here we have a pretty big sheet of stickers. Nothing compared to the figure ice line, but oh well. So here we have the the crossbone, the crossbone that goes on the uh, forehead. Um, two shoulders, side skirts, and front skirts. The yellow on the chest. I think this is for the scar, looking at the shape. The eyes. V-fin. What goes on the chest, the little symbol. Um, side skirts, we got that. And then this is, I think, for the wrists. So yeah, we have a nice sheet. Next, um, let's go, yeah. So, one of the most interesting things I find is PC-21. This is the polycap. The, these are not ball joints or anything like that. This, this to me, looks kind of like an, an inner frame. Like, you're supposed to kind of just, like, connect this together, and then you connect everything else along with it. So, it's kind of interesting how they built this. But we'll see how it turns out w once I build it. In the... Let's do the big, the big runner first, which is the... Which doesn't really have an a letter. I'm not seeing. Oh wait, no, A1. You can see it up, up here. So up here we have the feet and the face. The face eyes are not molded in. Like there's no uh, way to know where the eyes would be. Have the sticker. Then we have the egg, the flexible binders and some detail, I guess, on the back. You can see the thrusters and a little blank space, the little clips. You have two arms with the fists built in. Really small hands compared to the Sengoku kits. And again, there's a, huge gaps. Um, the back of the head, pretty nice. And the back of the sandbuster, just the, the gun. And gaps, more gaps. And then we have the sword in the front of the face with the face mask built in. And gaps. So uh, this one's going to take a little bit of e epoxy putty to fill those in. And then we have the black crest with, and I don't know if you can see it, hopefully you can. Uh, no you can't. Come on. Come on. I, don't know, I don't know why it's not working too well. But um, yeah, yeah. there you go. You can see the little X which is where the sticker is supposed to go and the V-fin is built in. So some paint is going to have to go on that. Next comes the 
A2 runner, which is right here in black. You can you cannot see it. Um, here we have the top of the le the legs slash feet, which combined, and you can see the little spikes back here. Look kind of cute, I guess. And here you see the um, the shield generators that go on the arms. Here you see the front cover for the chest. Here you see the back where all the the binders will go. And here we got the two parts for the chest, not the chest, the shoulders, two parts. And then huge block for the, um, what's it called? The, the waist, and the chest and waist on one piece, all black. So it's gonna take some, some painting, some stickers. You can see a gap where this piece is gonna go. So you can open the cockpit, and if you detail that with a light blue, it'll, be, it'll look like there's a like the core, the core fighter in there. Here's the back part. So yeah, that's all the runners, and then you get an extra instruction manual. In the front you have SDG Generation X uh, F Crossbone X1 Mosu X1 VI X1 XM sorry XM X1 Crossbone Gundam X1. Same illustration, number 59, 2001 in Bandai. In the back, we have Crossbone, some history, some data, and this is what the kit will look like, professionally painted and everything. Then we have the weapons. Uh, let's see. Oh, no. So yeah, we have uh, the weapons. And we have some... Um, genealogy. So here we have the Gundam F91 and the XM um, Bigia I, I, I don't know. And they combine to get the you get the crossbone. And over here you get the crossbone X2 as a direct descendant. You open the manual somehow. There we go. And you get they only show two runners, although there are three, but it's probably noted down here. One's a PS and one's a uh, stickers. Information and how and how to order parts. It tells you to build the head, which is the majority. You can see the, all the stickers. Over here you build the body, some more stickers. Then you build the feet. Then as, as I was saying, that the um, inner frame-ish thing that you put everything around it and then you have the cockpit part and the side skirts along with that emblem and then you put it all together and put on the X binder it tells you to put it a certain way and you can close it and open it and you can put either the the gun or the saber and unfortunately the saber does not look like you know you imagine it I, I guess I'm spoiled by the um, Masquerade with the nice blade. This kind of looks like a saber, so I'm gonna be modding that a little bit. So that has been the unboxing for the Crossbow Gundam X1. Um, I'm gonna try and build it tonight and get try get a review tonight, so I can make yet another video, so I can so I can review it and uh, I'll get another video where I'll talk about this and the Sun Quan Gundam over here. So stay tuned, guys. Okay. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.